Hi viewers, welcome to Element Solution. Today I am going to explain about how to use uh, low pass filter or working of low pass filter in MATLAB. So first you go to open untitled symlink block, okay symlink page, okay then you can type here low pass filter. So after typing low pass filter here you will see that low pass filter discrete and continuous block just you have to click this one then you will see this low pass filter block here okay so then so here you can click this one you can see the several options so first one is gain of the low pass filter time constant and upper saturation limit lower saturation limit so it is uh, default set to infinity minus infinity and sample time okay for example, I am going to provide sample time. Uh, that means I am going to consider 50 gets uh, uh, up, uh, up to 50 gets. I am going to allow that signal, right? So I am going to consider the time constant will be 1 by 50, and then I am going to apply. And next, I am going to use sine block. Okay, here I am going to use sine wave input block. So, and then I am going to fix this frequency here the sine amplitude and bias, and then frequency, frequency in terms of radian per second. Okay, so here I am going to consider uh, uh, the radian per second, right? For example, 2 pi f, right? So, here I am going to consider 2 pi f is 50. Okay, so I am going to consider this one. So next I am going to use scope window for seeing the cells of the, the output of low pass filter and the input. So here I am going to take two inputs, so one for input another one for a output. So just I am going to connect, so this is input and this is output ok. So here I am going to make the time will be 0 0.1 seconds. So next I am going to check the result of the scope ok once again so here we need to fix another thing is sample time so just you have to click uh, solver and then here you can change the sol solver detail maximum step size so here you can make to only per minus 6 and apply so then you can simulate then you will get the proper sine wave ok. So here you will see that so this is a proper output of the system. So here so this uh, for example I am going to increase the time now so up to 0 0.2 second. So this is your input and then this is your output ok. So here you will see that right output will be having single cycle right single cycle uh, having 50 hertz but the amplitude will be uh, is attenuated from the low pass filter so it allowing that uh, uh, 50 hertz signal for example i'm going to increase that uh, frequency to 100 okay so we'll check the result see here right so it's not uh, allowing the high frequency signal right amplitude will be comes to 0 around 0 ok. So if suppose I am going to increase again to 1, uh, 1 kilohertz you can see the results. So uh, almost is yes, comes to 0 ok it is not uh, allowing that signals ok. So suppose I am going to make this uh, frequency will be 1 hertz and then I am going to check the result for the 10 seconds. So here it is allowing that ok. So that means the signal having uh, that means input output having similar kind of output. So if the frequency is less than 50 hertz or uh, nearer to 50 hertz it allowing that uh, exact detail. For example I am going to consider uh, I am going to fix the frequency will be uh, 5 hertz and then I am going to check now. 
so here you will see the disallowing whatever thing but only thing is the amplitude so amplitude will be attenuated something okay so the slow pass fil filter allow the frequency up to 50 hertz above the 50 hertz right what happened it won't allow right will not get any output from out you will get the output but the amplitude will be is nearer to zero only so you cannot do any analyze by using this uh, low pass filter so for uh, for uh, filtering that uh, signal is less than some cut off frequency right so you can use this one in your projects okay thank you thank you so much bye bye